you may think that I really love stocks, that I do nothing but analyzing stocks and that this is my hobby. But that's actually not true. What I really like to do is to go on the lake. It relaxes me. In summer, I actually swim out to my boat. And as soon as I feel that my feet get wet, I, I, I just feel very, very happy. It relaxes me to be out on the lake. It makes me calm. And that's an environment that is actually very good uh, to look at your portfolio because you shouldn't have too strong emotions about your portfolio. It doesn't help you. Research has proven that over and over again. Last week, I spoke about the losses. This week, I'm going to speak about the profits. I made a profit with Valora, 22%. Did I deserve this? Not really. The only reason why I made a profit with Valora is that other people are now ready to, buy, to pay more for that stock. As a matter of fact, Valora was a recommendation of a friend. He analyzed the stock in detail. And when he told me that I should buy Valora, I looked at the Obermott ranks and when I found that they're actually well, good value, I bought it. And you can do that too. If you have friends that make a detailed analysis of the stock, you can go ahead and use that information when you make your decisions. Just go back to Obermott, look at the ranks, if the financials are good too. Did I deserve the profit in BASF? <laughs> I think even less. BASF just had a deadly accident more than four people died, it should have dropped in value, but it actually made me a 13% profit during that year. It's always extremely hard to explain profits and losses in stock portfolios. That's why you should, not you should not look at them. It doesn't help you because historic profits have nothing to do with the future. If you look at your profits, which you probably want to do, and look at the losses at the same time, do it in a relaxing environment where you enjoy it so that you don't get uptight about where you made money and where you lost it. I wish you good luck with your own investing.